Sutra. Furthermore, this Bodhisattva cultivates the root of faith, relying on disgust, relying on leaving, relying on extinction, and makes transference to renunciation. He cultivates the root of bhago, the root of mindfulness, the root of samadhi, and the root of wisdom. Relying on disgust, relying on leaving, relying on extinction, and makes transference to renunciation. Commentary. Furthermore, to explain the previous principle in more detail, this Bodhisattva cultivates the root of faith, relying on disgust, relying on leaving, relying on extinction, and makes transference to renunciation. He cultivates the root of vigor, the root of mindfulness, the root of samadhi, and the root of wisdom. These are the five roots, faith, vigor, mindfulness, samadhi, wisdom. He does that by relying on disgust for the Saha world, relying on leaving behind all afflictions, relying on extinction of all habit patterns, and makes transference to renunciation, the parameter of giving. Sutra Furthermore, this Bodhisattva cultivates the power of faith, relying on disgust, relying on leaving, relying on extinction, and makes a transference to renunciation. He cultivates the power of vigor, the power of mindfulness, the power of samadhi, and the power of wisdom, relying on disgust, relying on relieving, relying on extinction, and makes transference to renunciation. Commentary. Furthermore, to go into even more detail, this Bodhisattva who is on the ground of blazing wisdom cultivates the power of faith and that too is done by relying on disgust, relying on leaving, relying on extinction and again he makes transference to renunciation. He also cultivates the power of vigo, the power of mindfulness, the power of samadhi and the power of wisdom by relying on disgust, relying on leaving, relying on extinction and makes transference to renunciation. Before it discussed the five rules, and now these are the five powers. Faith, vigo, mindfulness, samadhi, wisdom. Being produced from the rules, they have a lot of strength. Based on those, he becomes disgusted with and leaves behind all worldly dramas, cultivates all world transcending dramas, and transfers that to the Dhamma draw of giving. Sutra. Furthermore, this Bodhisattva cultivates the enlightenment share of mindfulness, relying on disgust, relying on leaving, relying on extinction, and makes, makes transference to renunciation. He cultivates the enlightenment share of selecting a Dharma, the enlightenment share of Vigo, the enlightenment share of joy, the enlightenment share of casting out, the enlightenment share of samadhi, and the enlightenment share of renunciation. Relying on disgust, relying on leaving, relying on extinction, and makes transference to renunciation. Furthermore, this Bodhisattva cultivates proper views, relying on disgust, relying on leaving, relying on extinction, and makes transference to renunciation. He cultivates proper thought, proper speech, proper actions, proper livelihood, proper vigo, proper mindfulness, and proper samadhi, relying in disgust, relying on leaving, relying on extinction, and makes transference to renunciation. Commentary The text has been going through the 37 wings of enlightenment, and now Vajrachajari Bodhisattva continues. Furthermore, this Bodhisattva who is on the fourth ground, that of blazing wisdom, cultivates the seven body shares, also known as the seven enlightenment shares, for Bodhi means enlightenment. He cultivates the enlightenment share of mindfulness by relying on disgust for the mundane, by relying on leaving it, by relying on extinction of involvement with it, and makes transference to renunciation, to giving. The 37 wings of enlightenment 
are discussed at length in the commentary to the drum of Lao Sutra, in which it says they are composed of the four applications of mindfulness, the four right efforts, the four bases of psychic power, the five rules, the five powers, the seven limbs of enlightenment, the eight sagely wishes, the eightfold path. He, this Bodhisattva, also cultivates the remaining Bodhisattva dramas, cultivating the enlightenment share of selecting a dharma, the enlightenment share of vigor in cultivating it, the enlightenment share of joy as response is attained, the enlightenment share of casting out cause delusions, the enlightenment share of samadhi, the fruit of his cultivation, and the enlightenment share of renunciation of subtle delusions. The seventh is the enlightenment share of mindfulness. He does that by relying on disgust, relying on leaving, relying on extinction, and makes a transference to renunciation. Furthermore, the same Bodhisattva cultivates the noble eightfold path the eightfold proper way, the first of which is proper views. Again, he is relying on disgust, relying on leaving, relying on extinction, and makes transference to renunciation. He also cultivates the rest of the eight. Proper thought, proper speech, proper actions, proper livelihood, proper vigor, proper mindfulness, and proper samadhi. By relying on disgust, relying on leaving, relying on extinction, and he makes transference again to renunciation. These are all explained in detail in the commentary to the Dharma Flower Sutra. Sutra, the Bodhisattva cultivates such merit and virtue in order to abandon any living being through the maintaining of his original vows because he takes great compassion as foremost due to the accomplishment of great kindness. Commentary Why is it that the Bodhisattva cultivates such merit and virtue? It's in order not to abandon any living being whatsoever. It also happens through the maintaining assistance of his original vows made in the past that sustain him. Another reason is because he takes great compassion as the foremost, most important thing there is. And it is due to the accomplishment of all living beings performed through his great kindness. That's why he cultivates the five roots, the five powers, the seven enlightenment shares, and the eightfold proper paths. Sutra, because he remembers and ponders the wisdom of all wisdom in order to bring about the adornment of Buddha lands to become perfectly endowed with the powers, fearlessnesses, uncommon Buddha dramas, marks, characteristics, and sounds of the first come one, because he seeks the very highest, most supreme way, because he follows in accord with the deeply profound liberation of a Buddha he has heard, and because he thinks of clever expedients of great wisdom. Commentary the Bodhisattva upon the ground of blazing wisdom also cultivates the Bodhisattva way because he remembers and ponders things about the wisdom of all wisdom, which also means the wisdom body of all wisdom. It is also in order to bring about the adornment of all Buddha lands of all Buddhas. Another reason is to become perfectly endowed with the ten powers the four fearlessnesses, the eighteen uncommon Buddha dramas, and all the marks, characteristics, and sounds of the of the first come one. It too is because he, the Bodhisattva, seeks the very highest, most supreme Buddha way, and because he follows in accord with the wonderful drama of the deeply profound liberations of a Buddha of which he has heard, and it is because he thinks of clever expedients, drama draws of great wisdom which he can use to teach and transform living beings. That is why he cultivates the Bodhisattva way. Sutra, disciples of the Buddha, when this Bodhisattva dwells upon the ground of blazing wisdom, he makes own views of a body his primary consideration 
That is because with regard to a self, others, living beings, ones with lifespans, skandhas, realms, and locations as arising, being attached to, made to appear and disappear, thought about, contemplated, or regulated, and because with regards to anything as belonging to a self, wealth and possessions and places of attachment, he can become completely free. Commentary: Vana Treasury Bodhisattva again calls out, saying, "All of you disciples of the Buddha, at the time when this Bodhisattva dwells upon the ground of blazing wisdom, in his cultivation, he makes the." All of his views of a body, his primary consideration, the very first thing he has to expel, that is because with regard to a self he has none. For him there are no others either, or any living beings or any ones with lifespan. There are also none of the five skandhas, form, feeling, thinking, activities, consciousness, or the eighteen realms. Eyes, ears, nose, tongue, body, mind, the six organs, sights, sounds, smells, tastes, objects of touch, dramas, the six sense objects, eye consciousness, ear consciousness, nose consciousness, tongue consciousness, body consciousness, mind consciousness, the six consciousnesses are also empty. At the twelve locations. Eyes, ears, nose, tongue, body, mind, sights, sounds, smells, tastes, objects of touch, dramas are also gone. Any view of them uh, as arising or as being attached to has been emptied. In the midst of those dramas, any view of them as being made to appear and disappear, as thought about, contemplating or regulated, is totally emptied. So all attachments are absolutely gone, and it is also because with regard to anything as belonging to a self, he has seen all those states as empty, along with what a self could own, wealth and possessions and places of attachments as false thoughts of desire. Concerning all of that, he can become completely free. He leaves behind all the previously listed five skandhas, eighteen realms, and twelve locations, the six sense faculties, and their corresponding six objects. He frees himself from them, empties them, and empties any thought of them. So he has emptied any attachment to person or to dramas. Sutra: If this Bodhisattva sees karmic actions that have been reproved. By the thirst come one and are defined by afflictions. He abandons them all. He sees comic actions that accord with the Bodhisattva way and have been praised by the thirst come one. He completely cultivates them. Disciples of the Buddha thought the wisdom of experience to which this Bodhisattva gives rise to give rise and his cultivation of the way and the shares that aid the way. He thus obtains a kind of a nourishing mind, a compliant and yielding mind, a mind of blending and according, a mind of bringing benefit and making happy, a defined mind, a mind of seeking the very highest supreme drama, a mind of seeking most supreme wisdom, a mind of rescuing all world, a mind of bravery, honored virtuous ones, and not opposing teachings and instructions. And a mind of according with the drama he has heard, and well cultivating it all. Commentary: If this Bodhisattva sees evil karmic actions that have been reproved as not wanted by the Buddha, the thirst come one, and that are defied by all the impure dramas of afflictions, he abandons and puts them all down. If he sees wholesome karmic actions that occur and are not in conflict with the Bodhisattva way and have been praised by the thus come one as for cultivation, he completely bases himself upon those dramas and cultivates them. All of you disciples of the Buddha, says Vada Treasury Bodhisattva, through the wisdom of experience to which this Bodhisattva gives rise on the ground of blazing wisdom and his cultivation. 
of the drummer draws of the way and the shares that aid in cultivation of the way. He thus obtains the kind of a nourishing mind, a very complex and yielding mind, a mind of blending and according, a mind of bringing benefit to all beings and making all living beings happy, an unmixed and divided mind which has no thoughts of desire stemming from greed, hatred, and stupidity, a mind of always with utmost sincerity seeking the very highest and surpassed and most supreme drama. He also obtains a mind of always seeking the most supreme wisdom, a mind of rescuing the beings of all worlds, a mind of ever revering and respecting honored, greatly virtuous ones, and formal not opposing the teachings and instructions from those good knowing advisor. And he also comes to have a mind of according with the drama he has here he has heard wherever he hears it and well cultivating by relying upon it all. Sutra, this Bodhisattva knows kindness done for him and knows to repay that kindness. His mind is well disposed for the good and he is pleasant to associate with. He is upright and gentle, not acting like a dense thicket. thicket. He is free from pride, well accepts teachings and advice, and well grasps the intention of what is said. The Bodhisattva in that way becomes accomplished in patience and in that way becomes accomplished in self-control, compliance and still extinction. In that way, being accomplished in patience, self-control, compliance and still extinction, he purifies and regulates the karmic actions of the next ground. When he sets his mind on cultivating and maintaining, he attains to unresting vigor, unmixed undefined vigor. Commentary, when someone is kind to this bodhisattva, he certainly knows the kindness that was done for him, and he knows to repay the person who has been good to him, thought that kindness. His mind is very well disposed for the good, and he is pleasant for anyone to associate with. He is upright, not wayward, yet very accommodating and gentle, not acting like a dense thicket. It is not as if his entire body were covered with thorns that stop people and cause them loss of pain. He is free from pride and arrogance, and very well and very willingly accepts and he well grasps the intention of what is said and liked by drama masters. Bodhisattvas who are propagating the drama. This Bodhisattva in that way becomes accomplished in all kinds of patience of mind and ability to endure, and in that way becomes accomplished in self-control, compliance, and the comfort of still extinction. In that way, being thoroughly accomplished in the para paramita of patience, in self-control, compliance, and still extinction, purifies and regulates through cultivation the karmic actions which need to be cultivated of the next, the fifth ground. When he sets his mind on cultivating and maintaining, he attains to unresting vigor, as well as unmixed, undefined vigor. Sutra, non-retreating vigor, vast, great vigor, boundless vigor, blazing vigor, Incomparable vigor, indestructible vigor, vigor to bring all living beings to maturation, and vigor that well distinguishes what is and what is not the way. The realm of this Bodhisattva's mind is pure. His deep resolve is never lost. His enlightened understanding is clear and keen. His good roots increase and grow. He leaves behind worldly filth and turbidity. He cuts off all doubts and delusions. He is endowed with perfect clarity of severance, and he is joyous form. The Buddhas draw near to and mindfully protect him. His limitless re resolutions and inclinations all become accomplished. Disciples of the Buddha, when this Bodhisattva dwells upon this ground of blazing wisdom, through the power of his vows, he comes to see many Buddhas. 
That is, he comes to see many hundreds of Buddhas, man, sees many thousands of Buddhas, up to and including seeing many hundreds of thousands of millions of Nadutas of Buddhas. He reveals and honors them all, attends upon them and makes offerings to them, completely offering up all the necessities of life, clothing, bedding, food and drink and medicines. He also makes offerings to all the mantitos of the Sangha and completely transfers those gurus to Anuttara Samya Sambuddhi. In the presence of those Buddhas, he reverentially listens to the drama and having heard it, he himself accepts and maintains it and perfectly cultivates it. Commentary This Bodhisattva has non-retreating vigor, never giving up or turning back, but remaining vigorous and unretreating in the three irreversibilities. Irreversibility in thought, irreversibility in position, irreversibility in conduct. He also has the vast great vigor so that the range of his cultivation of the Bodhisattva way stands to the exhaustion of empty space and the Dharma realm and boundless vigor which has no limits. He is as a, as a burned as a blazing fire in his vigor and nothing can be compared to his incomparable vigor. It is also indestructible, unbreakable vigor and vigor to bring all living beings to maturation. He himself cultivates the Bodhisattva way and he is also able to teach all other living beings to cultivate it so their gurus repent. And he has a vigor that well distinguishes what is and what is not the way. The realm of this Bodhisattva's mind within is pure. His deep resolve for body is never lost. He never retreats from it. His enlightened understanding what he comprehends and has become enlightened to is clear and keen, exceptionally penetrating. All of his gurus day by day increase and grow. He leaves behind worldly defilements of filth and turbidity. He cuts off all doubts and delusions whatsoever. He is endowed with perfect clarity of severance, clearly understanding what should be cut off and what should not be, and his joy is full. He is always happy. All of the Buddhas of the ten directions personally draw near to this Buddha, uh, to this Bodhisattva, and mindfully protect him. His limitless resolutions and inclinations all become accomplished. Disciples of the Buddha, when this Bodhisattva dwells upon this ground of blazing wisdom, through the power of his vows made in the past, he comes to see many Buddhas. That is, he comes to see many hundreds of thousands of millions of Nayutas of Buddhas. He reveals and honors them all, attends upon them and makes offerings to them, completely offering up all the necessities of life, the four requisites of clothing, bedding, food and drink and medicines, giving them to all those Buddhas. He also makes offerings of them to all the mantitos of the Sangha of worthies and sages and completely transfers those kinds of gurus to Anusara Samyak Sambuddhi and the past proper and equal right enlightenment. The position of Buddhahood in the presence of those Buddhas, he reverentially listens to the drama and having heard it, he himself accepts and maintains it and perfectly cultivates it all the drama he has heard. Sutra Moreover, within all those Buddha's drama, he lives the home life to cultivate the way. He then even more cultivates and regulates his deep mind of faith and understanding. Passing through limitless hundreds of thousands of millions of Nadutas of compass, he causes all of his gurus to become increasingly bright and pure. Disciples of the Buddha, it is just as when a goldsmith smelts and refines true gold, making it into ornaments. No other gold is able to match it. The Bodhisattva Mahasattva is also that way. When he dwells upon this ground, all of his gurus cannot be matched by any of the gurus of the grounds below. It is just like a many jewel whose pure and luminous orb 
is able to send out light which no other jewels can match and no factors as such as wind or rain and so forth are able to destroy. The Bodhisattva Mahasattva also is that way. When he dwells upon this ground, the Bodhisattvas of the grounds below are not able to match him and the hordes of demons and afflictions all cannot destroy him. This Bodhisattva among the four dharmas of attraction emphasizes similar work. Among the ten paramitas he emphasizes vigor. It is not that he fails to cultivate the, the others, but he only does so according to his strength and proportionately. Disciples of the Buddha, this is called general discussion of the Bodhisattva Mahasattva's fourth ground, that of blazing wisdom. When the Bodhisattva dwells upon this ground, for the most part, he becomes king of the Suyama heaven. Using skillful expedients, he can make living beings expel their delusions, such as the view of a body, and so forth, and cause them to dwell in proper views. In giving kind words, beneficial conduct, and similar work, all of the comic actions he performs are not separate from mindfulness of the Buddha, not separate from mindfulness of the Dharma, not separate from mindfulness of the Sangha, up to and including not being separate from mindfulness of endowment with the wisdom of the wisdom of all modes. Commentary. Moreover, within all those Buddha's Dharma which this Bodhisattva on the ground of blazing wisdom hears them speak, he lives the home life. He can renounce it and leave home, cutting off desire and casting out love to cultivate the unsurpassed Buddha way. He then even more cultivates with increasing ability and regulates his deep mind in his innermost recesses. A faith in and an understanding of all Buddha dramas, that is, he has not a hair's breadth of doubt about any Buddha drama. Passing through as many as limitless hundreds of thousands of millions of Najutas of great compass, he causes all his gurus, which a Bodhisattva cultivates, to become daily better, increasing more numerous, more bright and pure. Disciples of the Buddha, what is this like? It is just as when a goldsmith, an artisan, smells and refines true gold, making it into ornaments. No other gold which has not gone through the refining process is able to match it, the refined gold. The Bodhisattva Mahasattva great among Bodhisattvas is also that way, the same as the gold which is refined to be shaped into ornaments. When he dwells upon this, the ground of blazing wisdom, all of his good rules upon the ground of blazing wisdom cannot be matched by any of the good rules of the grounds below. None of the good rules of the first, second, or third grounds can compare to the good rules upon the fourth ground. It is just like a money jewel, a precious money gem, whose pure and luminous orb is able to send out a light which no other jewels can match. They can't compare, and no factors such as wind or rain and so forth are able to destroy that money jewel. The great fourth ground, the ground of blazing wisdom, also is that way. When the he dwells upon this, the ground of blazing wisdom, the bodhisattvas of the grounds below, the first, second, and third grounds are not able to match him, and the demonic hearts of any kind, the heavenly demons and those of outside ways, and the various afflictions all cannot destroy him. They cannot harm the good rules of the bodhisattva upon the fourth ground. This Bodhisattva of the fourth ground of blazing wisdom among the four dharmas of attraction, giving kind words, beneficial conduct, and similar work emphasizes similar work. That is what he stresses. Among the ten paramitas, he emphasizes the parameter of Vigo. It is not that he fails to cultivate the others. The remaining three dramas of attraction or the other nine paramitas, but he only does so according to his strength and proportionately in conformity with his own causes and conditions. Varachajori Bodhisattva calls out again, All of you disciples of the Buddha, this is called a very general and summary discussion of the states 
of the Bodhisattva Masafa's fourth ground, that of blazing wisdom. When the Bodhisattva dwells upon the position of this ground and cultivates those doors of practice, for the most part, he becomes the heavenly king of the Suryama heaven. Using all kinds of clever and skillful expedients, he can make all living beings dispel their doubts and delusions, such as the view of a body and so forth. Views of a body, views of extremes, views of grasping at views, deviant views. All cause them to draw in proper knowledge and proper views in giving kind words, beneficial conduct, and similar work. All of the, the wholesome karmic actions he performs are not separate from mindfulness of the Buddha. He is always mindful of the Buddha and not separate from constant mindfulness of the Dharma, not separate from mindfulness of all the worthies and sages of the Sangha, up to and including not being separate from mindfulness of endowment with the wisdom of the wisdom of all modes. Sutra, he further makes the following reflection, I should among all living beings be a leader, be supreme, be specially supreme, be wonderful, be subtle and wonderful, be superior and be unsurpassed, up to and including being one with the wisdom of all wisdom upon whom one may rely. This Bodhisattva, if he brings forth diligence and vigor within the space of a thought enters, a hundred million samadhis. He comes to see a hundred million Buddhas. He comes to know a hundred million Buddha's spiritual powers. He is able to quake a hundred million world systems up to and including being able to manifest a hundred million bodies and with each and every body being able to manifest a hundred million Bodhisattvas as his retinue. If he employs especially supreme power of Bodhisattva vows to manifest at ease, he surpasses that number. In a hundred compass, a thousand compass, up to and including a hundred thousand million Narutas of compass, the number could not be counted or known. At that time, Vana Treasury Bodhisattva, wishing to restate his meaning, spoke verses, saying, Commentary he, the Bodhisattva on the fourth ground of blazing wisdom, further makes the following reflection and contemplation, saying, I should among all living beings be a leader, be supreme, be specially supreme, be wonderful, be subtle and wonderful, be superior, be unsurpassed, up to and including being one with the wisdom of all wisdom upon whom one may rely. This Bodhisattva of the ground of blazing wisdom, if he further brings forth a vow to have diligence and vigor within the space of a thought, enters a hundred million samadhis, that many proper concentrations and proper receptions. He comes to see as many as a hundred million Buddhas. He comes to know a hundred million Buddhas spiritual powers. He is able to quick a hundred million world systems up to and including being able to manifest as many as a hundred million bodies and with each and every body, every body being able to manifest and as many as a hundred million bodhisattvas acting as his retinue. If it should be that he employs the especially supreme power of bodhisattva vows to manifest at ease, he surpasses that number in such a long time as a hundred compass, a thousand compass, up to and including a hundred thousand million Narutas of compass, the number of them could not be clearly counted or known. At that time, Vada Treasury Bodhisattva, wishing to restate his meaning, spoke verses, saying once again these principles. Sutra, the Bodhisattva who has already purified the third ground, then contemplates realms of beings, worlds, and Dharma, the realm of space, the realm of consciousness and the three realms, minds understandings thoroughly and can tend towards and enter them. Commentary, Vada Treasury Bodhisattva, having received the great and awesome mind of the Buddhas of the ten directions, takes a look at all living beings' causes and conditions. He causes those 
who have not yet planted gurus to plant them. He causes those who have already planted gurus to make them increase and grow. He causes those whose gurus have already increased and grow to bring them to maturity. He causes those whose gurus are already mature to obtain liberation. Therefore, he wishes to use repeating verses to again state what has said in the preceding passage of prose. That's why he says, The Bodhisattva who has already purified the third ground, when he has already successfully completed his cultivation of the first ground of happiness, the second ground of living filth, the and further position of the third ground of emitting light and purifying it, then contemplates realms of living beings, walls and dharma, the realm of space, the realm of consciousness, and the three realms, the desire realm, the form realm, and the formless realm, along with the realms of my understandings thoroughly and can tend towards and enter them, those ten doors of understanding dharma, the bodhisattva cultivates to enter the fourth ground, which were discussed before. He com completely understands what minds understand and is thoroughly aware of them and then can tend towards and enter the drama doors of the fourth ground.